happy solar eclipse. This new moon solar eclipse is welcoming in karma, fairness, justice, intuitive and psychic abilities, as well as transformative energy. This month of October is known as the witching month. In ancient times, October was known as the eighth month. Eight is the number of transformation. We are currently in 2024, which adds up to the number eight, another transformative number. So eight and eight is major transformations that we can expect during this month, and especially during this lunation. In the Gregorian calendar, we're in the 10th month. That is a renewal. That is a completion of a cycle. The most affected signs by this lunation is Libra, Aries, Capricorn, and Cancer. This lunation happens at 10 degrees of Libra. So a 10 and a 10. 10, 10 is the number of karmic shifts. We're letting go of something old to welcome in something new. For some people, they're letting go of their old karmic past. As this is the month of karma, the scales are finally balancing out. This lunation is known as the harvest moon. So what are you harvesting during this time? What seeds did you plant at the beginning of this year that are coming to fruition? And what seeds can you plant during this lunation that will reap a harvest coming in the new year? This is a great time for to focus on karmic healing, ancestral work, and shadow work. The Sabian symbol for the 10th degree of Libra is a canoe approaching safely through dangerous waters. So this reminds me of the Six of Swords. And with the Six of Swords, if you can see here, there's three energies. You have the masculine, the feminine, and the third energy represented by the child. So this is a connection. For some, this may be divine partnerships. For others, this may be the merging. Or I hear secrecy. Secrecy and also um, envision something like the meeting of the two worlds, the two realms. You have the physical and the spiritual or the unseen, the explicit um, world and they're meeting together and this could be someone this could be you or you know whoever's watching this um but this or either someone around you but this could be someone that is passing between uh, states of reality this could be a uh, dream state or even ancestral this could be um, someone that is leaving this physical world to go to another world which could be known as like death um but regardless of this this is someone that is still navigating their soul's calling as we have here um ego versus soul so someone that is allowing the ego self to die so that way they can navigate through uh this merging of the two worlds where you have the physical represented by the ego and then the spiritual represented by the soul so they're navigating to get on to the other side so that can be tumultuous that can be um with this saving symbol a canoe something that is supporting them physically um uh, and as they approach safely, but it's through dangerous water. So this is someone that's going on a soul journey. And this specific deacon is represented by the three of swords and that I hear troubled waters. So troubled, like emotional or just trying to process everything. Um, this feels very linked to masculine energy. So it may be male or someone that identifies with male or even even just like um, a person with their masculine self, their ego. They could be going through an ego death or ego awakening or reconditioning. Um, I don't really like to say ego death, but if they are karma. Karma may be coming up for them. Something that they have to change in their lives. This could be, I hear questionable. They're questioning their identity. They're, they're questioning who they are. They are reshaping their, their mind that will also play out in relationships. This could be someone in a third party. So third party could be a job or it could be a physical person. This could even be, um, I hear family and karmic traditions related to traditions here i will pull a couple other cards this also is the month of the beginning of Ra rosh hashanah your thoughts here with swords this is this is all about thoughts and thought processes so someone is really in their head they're really in their head during this time which is better i feel like right now than being in the heart for some um because it may be too heavy this energy may just be a little too heavy for someone to lift so they have been brought from the heart space up to their head space so they can process because what was happening is that the divine spirit is reshaping their mental you see the water the ripples um the movement the thought waves the thought patterns are reshaping even when you see the symbolism with the ridges the dark spaces in between this is uh reworking the the wiring of the brain for others, this could also be brain healing. They could have ancestral linkage to like brain disease, like their ancestors may have had mental diseases. And this is someone that is moving from that traditional or generational trait to something.